All right, let's dive into this hair by West Kiss. It is absolutely gorgeous and super, super soft. Just look at this. You know hair is soft when you cannot keep your hands out of it because it is just so delightful to touch. But let's go ahead and look at it straight out of the box. Now, the reason I always show it right out of the box is just so you can see the real deal, okay? A lot of the times you look on these sites and you look at the pictures and you're like, that looks amazing. It's giving scalp, bleach knots, styled to perfection, and you think that's how it's gonna come in the box. And eh, wrong. Half the time, it doesn't. Half the time, it looks like a completely different wig and you're looking at it like, what is this? So, don't worry. That's why I'm gonna show you exactly how this looked straight out the box nothing done to it but also don't worry because I don't do much either so first things first this hair has a lot of parting space it is a 13 by 6 so that means you have six inches of parting going straight back now you're gonna not gonna get it from ear to ear but you're gonna get it in this whole center section okay now this also doesn't have a comb in the center which is delightful for ladies like myself who do not have hair that can just get in your way and it's something you'll have to cut out later so you don't need to do that at all and it does have some combs on the side if you do have some hair you can use those those don't really bother me generally so I leave them be now let's talk length she is a gorgeous 22 inches as you can see I can't even fit it all the way into the camera frame because she's that long okay given lots of inches. So if you're looking for a long, gorgeous wig for the summer, then this may be the wig for you. And don't worry, all of the links will be in the description down below, okay? So you don't have to worry or guess what was this wig. Everything will be there. But if you're not looking for extra long inches, don't worry, there's other options and you can get it done shorter. Now, this is West Kiss Hair's Undetectable Lace, or HG Lace, and it definitely didn't give me any issues blending in with the skin, which you'll see in a bit. Um, and I did get her in a size small. Now, oddly enough, although this was a size small, it was giving me a lot of long lace on the side. It was even hard for me to kind of tell where it was supposed to sit because it was just so much extra lace. So I don't really know how true of a small it was because I've never really had that issue before, but I will definitely show you how to fix that. All you need to be able to do is cut the lace along the side of your ears. That way there's a nice natural fit there and no crazy excess because if you're dealing with a bunch of excess, you're gonna get a bunch of lumpiness and nobody wants that. You want your wigs to lay nice and flat. Now, this wig did not come with bleach knots, which it's more of a preference nowadays, but if it doesn't, it's okay. Because for me, you're gonna get a lot longer life out of your wig when it's not bleached, because now the strength of those knots on the lace are that much stronger. But what I'm gonna check out is the Perfect Line Swiss. Now, if you want me to do a full tutorial on this one, I can. Just let me know down below that you're interested in it, so that way, I know to make it, but I think it definitely helped give that illusion of bleach nuts without having to go through the hassle of getting all the other extra ingredients and trying to bleach your wig without destroying it. Nobody wants to deal with that. Now, if you don't have a hot comb in your possession, you definitely want to go and get one. It is the number one essential to laying down wigs. It doesn't matter if it's curly or straight because you want to be able to see the hairline. 
so it gets it smooth all the way back so you can see what you're working with as well as flattening out the hair so you don't have this bumpy lump on top of your head not cute trust me nobody wants that so if you don't have a hot comb make sure you go get one and again anything you see me use in this video you can always check my links down below and see if I have it listed there if there's something I missed please let me know now for this one I did decide to go in with one of those wig grip headbands because I as I mentioned I was having that sizing issue I wanted to feel that extra security and it definitely helped with that so if you haven't tried a wig grip headband definitely do so and this one is so versatile because it has the lace in the center so wherever you're doing your part you can just adjust it to that even a side part so you don't have to worry about blending in a band and as you can see you can't even tell you don't see a band anywhere choose for an adhesive don't forget to go in with a hair dryer on a cool setting that's gonna make sure that you are melting the lace as you are moving your fingertip over the edge that's going to ensure that everything is melted and it's not going to leave a really noticeable line nobody wants that Now for that extra touch, if you have one of those elastic bands, definitely use it. It's perfect to set the lace while you're styling the hair and to give it that extra, extra melt. Okay, that's gonna make the difference between it being an okay install and it being a bomb. Now, I chose this wig for a few reasons. One, I'm not very prone to pick straight hair. I don't know what it is, but one minute I like it and the next minute I hate it. I am definitely more prone to pick body wave and curly hair wigs. And that's kind of for two reasons. Curly hair wigs are very easy to, you know, style and maintain. You just spray it with water and you're good to go. And then body wave just gives you that effortless flow, right? But I'm not going to lie, I'm really feeling the straight hair. It's giving me Rapunzel vibes so long so pretty and it's a natural color now that's another thing to consider when you're selecting your wig if you truly want it to last as long as possible and get the full benefit of your investment then i definitely recommend going with a natural color yes there are a lot of fun colors out there right now but you're going to get a lot longer lifespan out of your hair when it's natural because it hasn't been dyed or bleached now after straightening her, I did go in with the eyebrow razor just to add some layers and the key of it is just pulling out the hair and cutting on a downward slant. That's going to make sure you get a nice gradient cut. You don't want to have big chops that are going to be harder to blend. Uh, it's just an easy way to get some layers and add some dimension into the hair, some flow. But I didn't cut too much because again, it's 22 inches. so. I wanted to keep the length that it came and not go crazy. Now for her, I didn't want to do much to it, so I honestly didn't pluck at all. This is how she came. 
it did have a fairly natural hairline to start so sometimes I recommend just going ahead and wearing it how it is the first time and then maybe the second time you'll feel a little differently you can take it off cut a little more lace cut baby hair get rid of baby hair whatever you want to do but trust me the first time you do a wig is never the same as the second it's always gonna feel a little different and it's better to play it safe than sorry so I went ahead and just left her alone and if I want to go even deeper even more gradient hairline then I can do that later For finishing touches you can always go in with a face powder of your choice the goal is to match it to your skin tone so this one is by Too Faced and it works flawlessly with my skin and I also prefer the powder because one it's easier to control the liquid concealers can get a little messy as well as gunky and get onto the base of the hair which you don't want at all so just getting a nice little brush and going in with the powder it's a lot more buildable if you need a little more I'm obsessed with how this wig turned out. It is absolutely stunning. And thank you so much, West Kiss Hair, for sending this over to me. Again, all those description links will be down below. I'd love to hear what you thought of this look. And I thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go check out my channel if you want to learn more things about wigs, wig maintenance, wig installing, customizing, whatever it is, I got you covered. And if there's something you do want to see, drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Bye!